All right, week four, we're on the home stretch. Put in some skylights, put in this bar. <laughs> Just kidding, I wish. This is the Tommy Bahama model, 2017. We are down in Covington looking for some inspiration as far as layout goes. And we came across this beauty. I wish this was mine. TV, I'm sitting on the bed here. The back opens, which is amazing. But the best part, this light up counter, and it has a ice holder in it, which is really cool. But yeah, this place is awesome. Someday mine will look like this. Love the skylights. Okay, back to reality. Okay, so week number four. Happy one month anniversary. Dirty plywood, but it's in. Woohoo! Don't have to balance on those beams anymore. Thank the Lord above. And we also took off that black plastic that was on that lower window and it's amazing how much light these let in. I'm so excited to be parked somewhere next to a body of water and just being able to look out those windows. And it's cool too because they open completely out. Like this whole piece will be just not showing at all. So that's gonna be huge and open. Same with the front window, you can open it all the way up, which is cool. So last week we put in the new subfloor. Um, I didn't take a photo, but under all of these, we did brand new insulation. So I had to custom fit in between each beam with this pink panther um, insulation. It looks like that under, but like I said, I didn't get a photo, so. And then I washed the whole interior last night and that was what came off the walls. Oh, gross. It still looks really dingy, um, but I'm gonna, when the weather gets a little bit warmer, I'm gonna whitewash the whole interior just to make it look nice and clean and have a blank slate to work with. Um, so here, we're gonna put hardwoods over this plywood that you see, but it looks so much better. I'm so excited. Um, we, oh gosh, all of these took so long to take out. All of these electric boxes, were, which held light switches and power holes, power plugs, plug holes, um, they're all riveted on and each one took so long to get off, but they're all off. That took forever. So now I can just tape off all the windows, spray paint white, not with spray paint, but put paint in a sprayer, paint all that white. Um, these wheel wells have a fiberglass cover, which are outside. I'm gonna paint those white also. And then we're gonna get ready to map out all the electrical, which will be fun. Um, yeah, get a couple new fans. That didn't happen this week. Pretty excited about this skylight because we're actually going to extend it and there's a website that I'll link below that you can buy a custom skylight. So we're gonna make it pretty long and go all the way to the first like fixture. Um, the only thing you have to take into consideration are like the, the ribs underneath. So um, we, Mapped it out and we can make this twice as long. So that's just gonna be a big clear skylight, which will be nice when you're sitting here on the couch. You can look out the skylight, woohoo. So one more update from this video and then we'll get back to work. But so I've been using this Jasco paint stripper, um, paint and epoxy remover. And so here you'll see that I put on at whatever hour 50, that one 44 after the hour um, to see how the different waiting periods took off this old paint um because in this front section i'm gonna just have the original aluminum showing but it's a bummer because i was working up here and it's not aluminum up here so i'm gonna strip this whole bottom piece of the paint and that will be all nice and shiny aluminum and then hopefully up there i can strip that all off too but this middle section i'm gonna have to buy a new a new sheet of aluminum to cover so it actually is going to save me some time because i don't actually have to strip this because like i said it's not aluminum which is funny i wonder if anyone else has that issue of it being it's kind of like fiberglass i guess um so here you can see i waited i didn't i don't think i had it warm enough but i'm gonna try that again so I did all these test swatches and it looks terrible, <laughs> but I'm getting better. 
better at all of these little tasks as we go. Up here is going to be silver also. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's a shame that somebody painted that years and years ago. Oh, it's also cool because under here we put some secret messages. So if anyone ever buys this from me in the next 50 years, then they'll see a little note from yours truly. This is all going to be kitchen. I'm so excited. It's so big. Yay. All right. So that was the week four update. Hopefully by next week, we're going to have this side of the Airstream buffed out and polished with that silver look. And then from the door back, we'll be all painted white. We're also going to be mapping out the electrical, buying some light fixtures and all the outlets and plugs and get that all ready to go. And then be mapping out the holding tanks as well as so it's all new to me but I'm figuring it out as I go and it would be much quicker if you all came and helped me I haven't had I've had one visitor and she actually lives in San Francisco and she's the only person shout out to Brie Burdell who has visited me in my airstream so yeah when it's all done and beautiful and you ask to come camping I'm gonna remember that you haven't helped me yet all right week four in the books <laughs>